Welcome to this era. I'm just out and about collecting stones and killing bears. And I just got a, a warning for an order supply right here. And apparently the hyena drop ship is going to drop there too. So it's going to be interesting. I have the chance to collect the order supply and also go to the hyena support base. So it's 19 minutes uh, at the same spot. So I'm going to go in. In the previous episode, I was setting up some turret defenses. I think it looks cool. That's why I came to collect some more stones because I need to finish off a few walls. But let's go in and look at that. The drop ship is showing. Dude, wait a second. I gotta get the order to supply first. And uh, yeah, the last time I came here I died. But I didn't use the best strategy ever. I went in with a car and it blew up in my face. I know, Vanessa. Stop screaming at me. That's a pretty big ship. Holy moly. Is that a bear? No. So let's just go in. The orbital supply orbital is over supply there. Signal detected near you. It should have some useful things for you. There's nobody here. The last orbital supply dropped in a POI. So that's why I had to fight my way through. Because it just happened to be on a POI. So apparently we can just grab these things. And we don't have... Oh boy. But this one is going to be enemies. Holy motherfucking shit. It dropped on me. Are you serious? That was unexpected. Yeah, I got insta-killed by a dropship. Never happened before. But okay, uh, let's retrieve it. It's kind of weird that I was just saying I died the last time I went there. Yeah, weird, right? So let's see. Is it still there? Still got six minutes on this thing and nine minutes over there. Yeah, but I don't think I'm going to go for the hyena support base. I went, went twice there. I still have some spare armor, I believe, and some spare weapons. So I'm just going to try to retrieve my bag. And let's just put this stuff on the right place that I like. And fortunately, I didn't loop, lose the attachments. Supply signal detected near you. I know, Shut Vanessa. Up. You just told me like 13 times. Right? Why do you keep telling me that it's there? I know it's there. I just need to get my, my dead bag. So, that green light, not green, that this red light means that's where our body is. And it's kind of strange that it's actually coming to the ground. Oh, I was kind of hoping maybe it fell through the platform. It would be much easier to pick up, but no. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of ammo on the weapons. And uh, I, I heard some shots, so there must be some soldiers there. Signal dropped. Yeah, I know, Vanessa. Lesson learned. If a ship is dropping, don't stand beneath it. So there are a few soldiers. Oh, this one just saw me. So this is a melee guy. I can just... The problem is the ones they shoot. It's that one. Three melees. The orbital supply signal drop. Holy moly. I'm gonna die here. Orbital supply signal they keep coming. And I don't have the bandages on me. You. That's interesting. So what am I gonna do? Okay. So you friends keep following me. And we're gonna go around. Let's see if I can... Are they faster than me? I don't know. They might be. They still didn't hit. I'm gonna keep running. With my unlimited stamina. And let's see if I can kill the one with a weapon. Yeah, when they stop to the swing, they actually have to stop. So I should be able to outrun these guys. Nice. It's going well. Let's see where the other one is. I think it was just one with a weapon. The orbital supply signal. Orbital supply signal detected near you. Should there he have is. Some useful things for you. No, it's also another melee. Okay, so let's keep running. There he is. I don't think he's gonna see me. Let's get the bag. Please don't hit me. Can I get in the dropship? Holy moly, this is not going well. I might have to wait for them to leave so that I can get my stuff. Let's see. There we go. Yep, I'm gonna keep going. I got some stuff out of there. Pretty cool. Let's just drop right here. And maybe it's not a good idea because I don't have a lot of health. I think I'm gonna die again. I don't have a clear way to use a, a shot. Guys, give me some room. Can they come all the way here? They can't. Nice. So let's heal. Oh, that was good. They can reach me. So nice when this thing happens. Okay, friends. So now let's play. You're all melees, are you? So let's see where my armor is. Okay, so my shoes are completely out. Jesus, everything is out. 
God damn, I'm gonna really need to get some new armor. Uh, but let's put uh, the protocols in. No, it's actually other way around. Or is it right? I don't remember how I... Uh, I think the shield was on X. Okay, friends, just give me a second. I'm just uh, taking care of some stuff. Uh, there you go. The bandages. And we're good to go. The ones with weapons didn't come. So, well, good for me. Yeah, the energy weapon just wrecks robots. And I got another thing of this. And it's definitely much better without the scope on this thing. Because the recoil control is much better. There we go. So there's another shieldy boy. Out for the count. Oh, that's nice. I, I can't believe I survived this one. But I did. So let's see where the others are. Let's go to where the sniper now. There you go. There's a one another one down there, but it's a little far, so let's actually try to go in. Let's see. I've never been into one of these things. Nice, that one didn't shoot for some reason. Interact. Oh, so it continues. Gotcha. Let me load, load them, these guys. Oh, that's nice. That's the first uh, dropship that I get. Oh, and that weapon is out of, out of business. I'm whiffing every shot. And this guy's strong. God damn. You almost killed me. Holy moly. Yeah, that weapon is completely wrecked. But I do have a spare one. Nice. Just lure him because he has some nice stuff. Yeah. So what do we got here? This is the thing. Oh yeah. And I don't have any room. So let's drop this. That's a lot of them cards. God damn. Yep. Let's drop the meat. So let's see. What can I take? What is this? Holy shit. Oh, I lost some stuff. You going away? No, man, come back. I drop. Can you drop it in my base? It's right over there. Drop the stuff in my base, please. I don't think it will. Uh, yeah, that was unlucky. I don't remember. There was something new that I couldn't even see what it was. Oh, man, I should pay more close attention to the time. And I also collected some stuff from Realtor Supply over there. And I think it was just a bunch of metal and stone, so it's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, so what can I do? I think I can do some more radiation shots. So let's just do them. Get some room. I'm gonna need them anyway, even with a nice armor. And uh, there we go. So I got an extra room. So what do we got inside? Senseless? Hmm, I might drop them. Let's see these fellas. Yeah, that weapon is out of order. Fine resistor. So let's drop the senses. Bring the fine resistor. It's more important. There you go. And I don't know. But there could be a little bit more soldiers. Because I saw a few of them going in that direction. But I'm gonna have to go shotgun now. Which is not the best weapon for range. Even though it does a good job. Definitely the other energy rifle is much better. Unfortunately, these weapons that we find in the POIs, we can't fix them. The same applies for the armor. But if we actually craft them... I think we can, because this shock gun is one of the ones that I found. It's not repairable, <clears throat> excuse me, but it's exactly as the same as the one that I crafted, and the one that I crafted I can repair. So uh, I actually should have the resources to actually do these weapons right here that I'm using, but I still have a spare one, so I'm gonna go back to base, drop everything, and see if I can pick up the other one. Man, that was really unlucky. Uh, losing all that armor. Because these boots were really sweet. Look at that. They actually gave a lot of good uh, radiation protection and stuff. But okay. Let's just park everything away. I should have some extra armor right here. Uh, I'm gonna have to do it like this. That one is not very good, but it's still nice. And the shoes. 
I think these ones are completely shot, right? They're completely red. And I can't repair them. But look at that. The stats are definitely better than the metal alloy. But okay. Uh, huh? So they're fixed again. Now the bar is completely up. I'm not sure what it means. Is that... Is that... Yeah, I think I better just drop everything right. I got some room, and I got a lot of these cards. These are all for the Hyena support base, if I'm not mistaken. To the supply base in the Delta Zone. I think it must be for the same one. I mean... And I got another one of these. I, it's the second one. There you go. You see how many cards I got. That's a lot of them cards. I'm gonna have to do a box just for the cards. Got them. Uh, but yeah, those bots, boots are definitely completely worn out. So let's pick up this box because it's my drop box. When I go out and about looting. So yeah, I don't really have a nice place to put this one. Maybe here. There you go, let's put it there. And... Uh, yeah, let's pick up this stuff and leave all of these cards inside here. And I got more there. Oh boy, that's a lot of them cards. So let's see, do I have room for the... Yeah, I got room for the tires there. I think I'm gonna leave half of this there. And I don't, I'm not gonna need the grills, so I'm actually gonna put them in the... In the... In the core there. There you go. So I did this little enclosure with a window. I think it's working well. So it gives eight. Well, at least I get something back, right? So there you go. I got more of metal. I'm definitely gonna have to go there because I don't have a lot of armor. So I'm definitely gonna go into the hyena support base again. I'm just gonna have to wait for another dropship. I mean... It's three minutes before it disappears and once the dropship disappears from the base I don't think I can actually loot the dispensers. So I'm probably gonna go in my own time where I reload the game. Because that's usually when the, the timer starts. Uh, but we'll see about that. I'm not gonna, probably not gonna show again because I already went there in video. So let's also grab some, some meat. Not here, should be here. Yeah, I got a lot of... This gives me 30 food though. But this one stops bleeding. So yeah, I have the emotion. Yeah, let's bring the elk steak this time. Just to change it up. Let's fill up on medical level 2. And let's change up the weapon, so I should have a spare one. There it is. It's the same. So let's just remove the attachments, because I'm not going to be able to use that weapon again. And let's see if actually I can put it in, the, in here. Because if I can't use it or repair it, maybe I can get... There you go. Gives 192. Well, I removed the attachment, so let's send it. At least I get something out of it. Once again. And uh, let's put these things in. This is... Oh, it already has a compensator. Gotcha. The sniper. I better just switch it over too. Right? Before it, it completely gets ruined. So let's also remove the components from this one. Put it on that one. And what I need for this is actually the scope. Which I'm not gonna, any, gonna, not gonna use. Because I prefer that energy rifle without a scope. Because it has better control uh, in terms of recoil. So let's put this on number 5 and this on number 4. There you go. Back in business. There you go. And number 5. I should be able to put in 5 bullets. 4 bullets. Okay. I'm going to restock on ammo. Let's see if I got some more energy. There you go. Nice. I think like this should be okay and in terms of slugs let's just refill a little bit more there we go okay i think we're good i still haven't used these hemostatic shots but i think they might be useful sometime in the near future that's not the place what i want to put is this thing got a couple extra compensators which is nice and uh, i still have an extra sniper an extra shotgun which this one i can actually repair and I got myself another vertical grip here. I have this one, but it's not that great. It just only does 20 damage. But maybe it just shoots a little bit faster than the energy pistol. Which I'm not using anymore. So no point going for that thing. So let's have some elk. And uh, let's actually have a, a bandage. Uh, 
Oh yeah, if you press F, it cancels it. So let's just wait a little bit. And let's use another one. There you go. Back in full health. That's the thing. Playing with bears and uh, getting shot and not dying. It's kind of nice, but it damages the armor quite a lot. So that's why I already lost a few armors. Because actually in the last episode, or the one before, I tried the super boom on a couple bears. And they wrecked my, my armor. Completely wrecked it. I wonder if they shot anybody. There's a bear right there and they're not shooting it. So I wonder. 2500 meters, huh? It looks much closer than that, buddies. Let's see if I can get away the sniper. Again. Right on the ass. See? Turrets. That's what she's supposed to do. Maybe they're just saving bullets because they know the bears are not gonna come. Yeah, who knows. But I, I left the staircase. Let's just upgrade these walls. Because I did get a nice quantity of stone and metal in that orbital supply. So let's just upgrade this stuff. There you go. Because I imagine if there's an base attack, maybe they'll shoot the turrets and the walls. So I kind of feel like I should upgrade all the way up. I'm not getting anything from these ones because I placed them a, a few minutes ago. So let's just build another one right here. There you go, I should be able to reach. So let's just get both towers completely upgraded. Not completely, because I can actually upgrade it once again. But it's going to use up refined metal. So I'm not sure if I want to use it right now. What do you want, Mr. Bear? Want to get shot in the face? That's what you get. There's another one right there. Let's see the range on this side. I definitely hit him. There's a rock in the way. Oh, I had to reload. I was going to get a shot on, on a jump. I think I missed. Oh. Oh yeah, because it has drop, right? So let's shoot a little bit higher. Let's see. It's really them far away. Oh, he stopped moving. There he goes. What about that one? I saw another one. Where is he? Oh, he ran away. You smart bear. Okay, fully upgraded. Not too bad. So, another thing that I would like to do is extend these walls on top of the base. I mentioned it in the previous episode and uh, I think I'm gonna do it since I have the materials right here so what I'm gonna do is actually just extend these walls on the outside and I could also put a few in a few windows let's see which would be the coolest staircase so this one is just it doesn't go all the way yeah but I think these ones might be better because it doesn't have as much room in between I would like definitely to see the difference. So I'm going to put them side by side. Let's see what's the difference between these things. Oh, so this one goes to the same direction and that one doesn't go. That one is a, only a 90 degree turn and this one is a 180 turn. That's the difference. Gotcha. Pretty cool. So, for example, here I could have a window facing this way. Yeah, but I'm going to have to put a wall here first. But, in fact, maybe the wall should be here, right? Because that's the thing. There's no roof. There's no inclined block. So, either I continue all the way around the base. Yeah, I think I might do it. I think I might do it. So, let's just put it like this. And I'm going to have to put another one here so that I can put a window on top. So when I go up here, I can see out, right? Over this side, I don't think it's useful because I can't get close. Although, here, I should be able to see a little bit more too. Nice. Okay, so let's continue. Let's put another staircase on top. So it would be... It would actually be like this, right? just a 90 degree turn there you go and this will be an observation point and here I can actually just use these smaller walls what about these ones I think these ones are a little bit better they're not as high 
And there we go. I can actually see the floor. Oh yeah, I like it. Pretty cool. So let's put a few windows there. Oh, I'm missing Terrasite. Okay. I think I might also have to close this off on this side. So let's put a... And I could definitely put a door frame right here. Instead of over there, right next to the staircase. No, but let's put it there. Let's put it there. And I'm not going to put a door. It's just going to be an opening. Because what I really need is the chance to put the wall here. There you go. And on top I should be able to put another one of those. There you go. So I got myself a little tower. I think it's going to be more imposing. And whoever comes my way will look and think, Oh, this is a big old castle. I better be careful. And you should, motherfucker. I'm going to shoot you in the face. You know? Uh, so let's grab some terracite. And uh, yeah, I'm already out of stone. Yeah, stone is a problem. When I got an extra seal point, which is not that far actually, I'm definitely gonna go for level 3 on this one, so that I can gather 30% more rocks. This is something I got wrong in uh, a few episodes ago, and uh, we can actually increase the yield, so that's nice. Let's just put the windows there. There you go. And uh, let's see how it looks while complete. So I can't really go to this side there. Can I actually attach a floor? I can. Look at that. Of course it's gonna be on the way. Yeah. Will I be able to pass by here? I can. And I can just crouch. And here I can just jump. So I think I'm gonna leave it in. You know? Because this way I can actually come to this side. Yeah, that's fine. It works for me. When I go down and just crouch, and that's fine. And I do the same when I go up. Oh, that's great. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go for some serious grind to continue to build that thing. Another thing that I could have done is actually use this staircase to access all of these towers. But I think... Yeah, another thing that would be cool would be actually to access from tower to tower. So maybe I could even do something like this and continue all the way to the other tower, you know, with these floors. Of course, in the middle, I'm going to need some pillars, but I can just extend some pillars right here. Yeah, I'm going to think about that. Interestingly enough, I got two minutes on another orbital spray. So since I need some stone, let's see if I can get it. I think I'm going to bring the truck this time, should be a little faster. And uh, this time there shouldn't be the other dropship. So not only I'm not going to die with it on top of my head, I'm not going to have to fight those soldiers because, as we've seen before, the orbital supply is just the orbital supply, it doesn't have anyone protecting it. So let's just grab it. I might even be able to go with the truck all the way to it. And it seems like it's in the same spot. Yeah, nice. So let's get another orb to supply. Let's see if he's got even more stone than the last time. Oh yeah, some nice driving right there. Oh, look at that. I don't see it. Hmm. The game is tricking me. Is it underneath? It says still one minute. 44 meters. What the hell is going on? Where the hell is your to supply? If it's not underneath here, I don't know where it would be. So it actually says right there, this is like something for multiplayer. Is that the drop? I kind of see a light right here, where it should be, but I don't think it's here. Or is it? So the sign is still in front of me. Now it's behind me. Yeah, I have a feeling it should be up there, but it wasn't. Orbital supply signal detected near you. It should have some useful things for you. Okay, so I got a warning before it actually dropped. Oh, so it was still on the sky. Is that what it meant? We really have to wait for the for Vanessa to let us know that it dropped. Okay, gotcha. Maybe that's it. I don't know. There it is. Okay, so this is definitely something for multiplayer. 
it's kind of nice that it's on single player because we can get some extra resources but this is like a thing whoever gets it first you know but uh, it's definitely kind of nice so 100 fiber another encrypted card some beans just 200 stone but i mean it's something better than nothing definitely worth it so in one of the, my previous episodes i went for an order supply and I actually thought it was part of the POI, but it wasn't. It just drops somewhere on the map, apparently. And on single player, we have 10 minutes to grab it. And uh, I, the robots are not interested. The bears even less. So there's that. But that's cool. 200 stone, nothing to shy away from. Kind of nice that I have a base right next to where these auto supplies sometimes spawn. Pretty cool. Just to end the episode, I would like to try something that I did before, which is actually cut down a tree by punching it. Let's punch another tree. Let's see if it works on this one. I can see the damage. And I broke the tree. Nice. What about on this big one? Will I be able? You know, I'm not sure if this is working because I'm not seeing I'm not seeing the damage on the tree. I don't think I can punch this one out. Not even with a boom punch. Let's try. Let's keep punching and maybe maybe it just takes more time. It is a bigger tree. You know what? You wouldn't believe. I think I'm breaking it. See that little line? Where my crosshair is. I think I'm breaking the tree. Let's see. Maybe that, maybe that line was there before. It's just a texture. Yeah. I don't know, I think this tree I can get, but uh, okay, so we can actually demolish the trees here, as you saw, but unfortunately when we reload the game, they're back, because I had one right in front of my garage, I managed to get it out, but it, it, it's back, that one over there on that side, but it's kind of cool, maybe eventually it will be a permanent thing, we can actually destroy, because this is not a voxel game, that's why I kind of figured this is a pretty cool thing, because usually pre-reloading games like this one where the terrain and the shades and stuff reload before the game starts we can't actually interact much with the world but if we can actually destroy a tree i think that's pretty cool still not sure if i'm gonna connect the oh now they saw the damn bear so it has to be closer they both shot see so it works they're looking at each other like did, did you see that bear i did we killed it oh nice our boss is gonna be happy that's what the turrets are saying that bear is adventurous. Look at him go. Okay, but as I was saying before, I think what I'm actually gonna do for sure is actually put walls all the way around. Like this. So here on this one, I don't have any windows on the ground floor, so I'm gonna close it off with the stone that I got right now. Here. I think I'm actually... Yeah, I'm gonna know if I'm gonna put walls all the way around here. I think I might yeah let's put all the way around the whole base is gonna look more menacing for whoever comes my way well, let's just add a bunch of walls and i don't really need to have windows here because i can go higher up that's the whole point also of these towers i can see out but from a higher standpoint so it's all closed off uh, and it should already be looking uh, much better from the outside so let's take a look and then i'm gonna go a little bit of a grind a little bit quote unquote and uh, try to finish off this stuff and these turrets worked out too i think they killed this bear definitely so let's see oh yeah of course it looks a little weird having the upgraded ones on the floor and the ones on top not upgraded not upgraded but the first step will be to actually complete these little towers here but i think it's already looking better looking more castly more menacing i like it thank you for watching and until next time